Good morning. In the last class, I discussed the basic anatomy of limb node. That means the what is limb node and the basic structure of a limb node and its afferent vessels and efferent vessels and also told you about the drainage area of a limb node. And today I will discuss a regional limb nodes. That means in the lower extremity in this region you will get some limb nodes mainly in the femoral triangle and that limb nodes are called inguinal limb nodes. Though these are not found in the inguinal regions which is a part of the abdominal wall but the inguinal limb nodes they are found in the femoral triangle below the inguinal ligament. The term is inguinal limb node not femoral limb node that is to be uh, very clear. And besides this inguinal limb node, some limb nodes are also there in the popliteal region also called popliteal group of limb nodes. But mainly the limb nodes they are present in the femoral region that are called the inguinal limb nodes. Now if we classify the inguinal limb nodes in this way you will get inguinal limb nodes there are two groups one is superficial limb nodes and another one deep group of limb nodes and these superficial limb nodes again they are in two groups one is horizontal group or called proximal group and second one is the vertical group or called distal group of limb node. The number of proximal group of limb nodes usually 5 to 6 in number and vertical group are 4 to 5 in number and the deep nodes they are usually 1 to 3 in number. Now the question may arise what do you mean by superficial and deep limb nodes? In respect to what these are superficial and these are deep? The deep fascia of the thigh is the layer of reference the superficial to this deep fascia is the superficial group of limb nodes and deep to deep fascia is called the deep group of limb nodes. And the superficial group they usually accompany the superficial veins and deep groups they accompany the deep arteries. So veins and arteries superficial to deep fascia deep to deep fascia. Now if I draw these limb nodes. Now you know the classification, now I am drawing. <coughs> now I am drawing this one and then and this is inguinal ligament of this side this is inguinal ligament of this side. So here you will get the horizontal group of limb nodes I told you below the inguinal ligament. This is inguinal ligament this black one and these are vertical group of limb nodes. And the number of horizontal groups I told you about 5 to 6 and these are about 4 to 5. And the shape of this limb node it looks like this inverted L or somewhere you may get it is the T shaped. T means this is a line, this is another line. 
सो लाइक दिस सो मे बी टी सेपेट और मे बी इनवर्टेड एल सेपेट अरेंजमेंट ऑफ दिस सुपरविशियल ग्रुप आई टोल्ड यू द ड्रेनेज एरिया ऑफ दिस लिम नोट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फ्रॉम क्लिनिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो इफ यू कॉन्सिडर दिस लैटरल ग्रुप एंड मीडियल ग्रुप वी मस्ट नो द ड्रेनेज एरिया ऑफ दिस लैटरल ग्रुप एंड ड्रेनेज एरिया ऑफ द मीडियल ग्रुप एंड दिस इज अ लाइन ऑफ जंक्शन मोर और लेस जस्ट इमेजिन दिस वन so this lateral group it receives the lymphatics from the back side that is from the gluteal region and also the lymphatics from the lower part of the anterior abdominal wall below the umbilicus if it is level of umbilicus so below the umbilical region from the lower part of the anterior abdominal wall as a medial group it receives the lymphatics from this region from this region means this region is the region of genitalia in case of male and in case of female in both the sexes the external genitalia excluding the testes or ovary this region is drained by the medial group of superficial horizontal group of limb nodes and also the lower part of the anal canal below the pectinate line and some part of the perineum but in case of the glans venis or glans cateris they are not drained by these limb nodes rather they are drained by the deep inguinal limb nodes and another important drainage area of this medial group you should keep in mind you should remember because sometimes the applied question may come from this point that is the angle of the uterus in case of female through the round ligament of uterus the lymphatics from the angle of the uterus reaches into the medial group of limb nodes so it is a extra point for the females because sometimes uh, the question may arise in a carcinoma of the uterus the medial group of limb nodes are enlarged explain your so explanation will be like that in the uterus the carcinoma at the region of the angle or corner of the uterus lymphatic spreads or the carcinoma spreads to the medial group of inguinal limb node through the round ligament because the area of drainage of that particular region is this this group of limb node this is very important then what about for the vertical group of superficial lingual limb nodes they actually like this so they actually receives the limb node from the whole of the lower limb except a small area in the postlateral part of the leg because that area is drained by the lymphatics which is accompanied by the small subvenous vein but here these lymphatics they accompany the long subvenous vein this is the difference so the drainage area of the all superficial limb nodes if i ask you for the lateral group from gluteal region and the anterior abdominal wall below the umbilicus for the medial group the genitalia and the perineum and the lower part of the anal canal and for the vertical group whole of the lower limb except the calf region where the lymphatics is drained via the or accompanied by the small subvenous vein into the popliteal group i am drawing the deep group on this side you know the deep group of limb nodes are 1 to 3 in numbers and the deep group they accompany the the limb vessels accompany the femoral artery 
popliteal artery like this that means deep arteries. So, deep lymphatics they follow the deep arteries deep to deep fossa and here is the I will draw you one triangle called femoral triangle. This is femoral triangle bounded by inguinal ligament. This is adductor longus, this is sartorius, this is femoral triangle. And in this triangle, there is one sheath is there called femoral sheath. And in the femoral sheath, there are three compartments. And medial most compartment, this one is called the femoral canal. Femoral canal. And the mouth of the canal here is called the femoral ring where you will get one septum called femoral septum. Why I am telling you? Because on this septum close to the femoral ring, one limb node is there. One limb node inside the femoral canal and another limb node where the saphenous vein drains into the femoral vein, deep to deep fossa. So, another limb node is there. That is, that is outside the femoral sheath. So, these three, uh, three limb nodes I told you, deep limb nodes are 1 to 3 in number, but this limb node or this limb node, they are not always present. This limb node is called plocoid limb node or limb node of plocoid, but this limb node and also this limb node not always present, they are inconsistent. So, and these limb nodes, they receive the lymphatics from the structures deep to deep fossa. That means the deep lymphatics, they are carried by the deep group of limb nodes. And all these limb nodes, the superficial, both vertical and horizontal group and deep, deep limb nodes, they pass into the abdomen and it reaches another group of limb node which are called external iliac group of limb node. So, these limb vessels are the efferent and they reaches into the external group of iliac group of limb nodes and all these are afferent lymphatics and these are efferent to the external iliac group of limb nodes and what are the fate of this external iliac group of limb nodes and where they drain I will uh, discuss in the lymphatics of the abdomen. The drainage area is important because if I ask you suppose a infection in the gluteal lesion which group of limb node will be affected? Your answer will be it is a lateral group of horizontal limb node. If I ask you if there is a uh, infection or carcinoma in the lower part of the anal canal or in the perineal region, which part of limb node may be affected is the medial group of limb nodes. So, this is the importance of knowing the drainage area of all these limb nodes of which the important applied question usually comes in the examination that is in case of female why the medial group of limb nodes is affected during carcinoma of the uterus. And another important uh, question may arise, the in case of carcinoma of the glans penis or glans clitoris, which group of limb node will be affected? And the answer will be this deep group of limb node, not the superficial group of limb node will be affected, only the deep group of limb nodes will be affected. And though the testes uh, all over are the genital ears, uh, organs, but their lymphatics, they are not drained into this group of limb nodes, rather they are drained into the abdominal group of limb nodes, that is para group of limb nodes, not here. So, these are the some basic things. So, I think uh, that is all for the inguinal limb nodes. If there is a short note on inguinal limb node, you first classify the uh, groups like in this way and the drainage area and you will draw a diagram in a very schematic way. After that, you label the diagram. I think this is all for the inguinal group of limb nodes. Thank you very much. Please click on the like button and of course subscribe it and share to your friends. Thank you.